Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, is it going? Yep. Okay, here we are. Trying to level this little 5 by 8 piece of ground. We're trying to make it level so that what's on it will be level, the roof will be level. This is just like it talks about in the Bible with the, the cornerstone. The cornerstone is one of these corners that we start with and then we work out from there to level this, this little bit of ground to put a shed on. If, the, if one corner is off, the whole shed will be off and it won't go together. And we tried. We had another shed and we did that. <laughs> and we had to shim a corner to get it all to go together. It's all made to fit square. It's just like the Word of God. It's, it's true. It, it tells us we have to keep things level, level in our life, level with people. We have to avoid bitterness. We have to avoid anger. We have to avoid uh, lying and stealing and adultery. All those kind of things that will ruin our life. And if we do them, we will not be allowed into eternity with God. And that's our goal. We want to be in heaven with God. Forever and ever. Not today. Hopefully not today. But uh, when, we, when we pass away from this life, we want to we want to be with Him who saved us, who chose us, who gave us the breath to say, I give up, I give up, I surrender, I surrender all, as the song says. And we have to, we have to surrender it all to Him and receive Him into our life. Actually, He does it all. We don't do it. We just kind of give up and realize He's been knocking on the door of our heart forever through people and through circumstances and he allows the rough things in life to to direct us to him. So if you have some hard things in your life and you've had plenty, but because of Christ you've been able to survive through them and grow through them, mature through them, and give him glory in it all. Boy it's but with that, and have joy, and have peace, and have uh, fulfillment in life. But this has to be square, just like our lives have to be square with Him. And if, if your life's not square with God, you're in trouble. Ha! I was in trouble years ago. Boy, was I in big trouble. And uh, I needed God desperately. And because... Because of His mercy and His grace, He called out to me. <laughs> Quit struggling, boy. Give it up. That's I was a boy then, too. I was 33 years old. And uh, as far as kingdom things were, were concerned, I was really a boy. I didn't know anything. I didn't know how bad I needed Him. But... Uh, because of his mercy, because he pointed the way. I was able to give up. He gave me the grace to give up. There's lots of people who won't give up. There, now, go across and see where we are, like through here. And see how close we are to getting level this way. Get rid of this little pump here, and we'll be closer to being level. So, we want the corners, all the corners, oh, that's pretty good. We want all the corners to be level with each other and the middle, too. So, anyway, we're getting pretty close. That's pretty good there. Yeah, we just get the rest to filled in so it jives with it. We'll have a level foundation. Boy, foundations, uh, we need a solid foundation in our life. If we don't have a solid foundation, we will struggle. We will worry. We will. You still struggle. We still have worries. You still have health problems. All those kinds of things happen. Even when, you're, when the Lord owns you, He allows them in your life to get further growth. If you don't go... It's like if a mountain was smooth, you couldn't climb it. You've you got to have handholds. You've got to have roof spots. 
Like we heard a story from Dale Braddy the other day, where he climbed up a hill <laughs> in the winter time, and he cried out to God, and God helped him up that hill. He wouldn't have made it, because he knew he was dead. You see, he couldn't go down. He couldn't. He had to go up. And then when he got to the top, there was some other hunters there, and he had to pretend he wasn't scared to death. He was shaking like a leaf, and he had to fake it. But uh, we recorded that. We recorded that testimony, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. For God's glory. Because man, because Dale has a lot of stories to tell. So if you have a story about Jesus Christ doing something mighty in your life, got to be told. you got to share it. Uh, that's, that's what he... That's the kind of thing he, he loves. The Bible's full of stories. Like we just studied the book of Ruth. Well, uh, that was a wonderful book. get our Tonka trucks out of here now. This must be low now, I bet you. Let's see. Yeah, it is. So, talking more I should probably. <laughs> anyway, let's see. Right there. You got about another 60 seconds. Is it 10 minutes? Mm-hmm. Anyway, if you're a man listening to this, and you want to begin to understand what to do right in your life. Begin reading the book of Proverbs. If you don't know Jesus Christ, and you're considering it, find the Bible and read the book of John over and over. So God speaks to you through it and calls you. Because uh, all through the Bible it talks about we're chosen. I chose us from the Lord, the foundation of the earth. I'm talking about foundation. He chose us. He chose me. He chose others. I didn't know it for a long time. Oh, I wish we had. I didn't grow up in a family that went to church or loved God. Well, I had some relatives that did. Anyway, and I had people praying for me. Many years, I would come to know Christ. And uh, eventually, through much sorrow and heartbreak and trial and error and disaster. God saved me. Showed me. Told me. Give up and cry out to him. That's the best decision. I thought I made it, but I really didn't. He did it all. He did it all for his glory. And I want to give him praise and praise and praise and praise and praise and more praise. Ever and ever and ever on this earth and on the new earth and uh, anywhere and everywhere in between. And, uh, I love him. I worship him, praise him. All my being, every day, every day. So read the word, read the Bible, pray to him. He will deliver you and save you. He's like, 